Good evening friends happy thursday before i start this video i just wanted to thank you for your kindness and understanding and well wishes if you didn't see yesterday's video i had a very 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 bad anxiety day and um, i know a lot of you can understand how that goes and i'm just um, appreciative of you all being uh so lovely about my basically lack of a video just wanted to throw out a thank you. I've got a pile of stuff next to me. Some of the things I have not packed from Kentucky Ren Fair. Some of these things are new. Some of these things I have laundered from Kentucky Ren Fair already. Excuse me. And some of these things Dooku is eating right now. Hello. No thanks. Kittens and garb. Do not mesh well. So um, I thought I would just show you guys. I turn the camera here. Ye old pile pile of stuff that I got in Kentucky and as gifts and order and I'll just tell you where I got it when I show it to you okay sound good one of my big goals when I was in Kentucky is to buy the shirts I don't have a lot of good shirts to wear under my corsets and while I do like to thrift them I just I've been having sort of a drought situation with finding them so I did get a few tops in Kentucky this just very plain black one is from Treasure Fairy. I cannot find the other sleeve. Where are you? Ha ha! There you go. Treasure Fairy. First thing I ever bought from Treasure Fairy. Oh my lord, does she make beautiful stuff though. Holy cow. The next three tops I have were from a shop called Sultry Treasures and they had a sale rack going on outside. So I guess what happened was that they were changing the material they're using for their blouses and so they were just having like a closeout situation on uh, the ones that were cotton and not so gauzy. So I was able to pick up a green top, kind of like a rusty orange. And then this sort of like a mustard brown tie dye situation. So I went to Kentucky looking for tops and by golly, if I didn't find them. Now, if you watch the vlog from Kentucky, uh, you would have seen that I bought an entire outfit from Little Shop of Jingles because it was too hot to wear what I had packed. And they had the seal going with their outfits. So this is the top that I got, my favorite color of blue. This is really cool. And I had bike shorts. That's just what I had with me in Kentucky. I, um, I intend to wear something different underneath this because it is like a fully like stripped skirt but this blue and green sort of like chiffon strip skirt. So pretty. And then you did get to pick out, oh my gosh, the cats are freaking out over this. You did get to pick out a bit of jingle to go with your top and your skirt. I picked up an orange one. Um, they didn't have blue or green and I liked the idea of it not being so like matchy matchy. Something is sort of break up the color and like how freaking fun is this? So this was the full outfit that I got like with the outfit package deal at Little Shop of Jingles, but I wound up going back the next day because I was enjoying the outfit so much. I wanted more jingle to wear with it. And I picked up this gorgeousness. I like that it has like the blue in there, like these little gems here that pick up the color. And this is a lot more jingle. So I wound up adding this to the outfit. I really like like the hot pink and the orange and the deep blue and green together. I feel like they're very like different, but still complimentary colors. And I'm really excited to wear this on hot days at Ohio Renaissance Festival because Lord knows we're gonna see some 90 degree days there. Now I noticed the brand of the top that I picked up, Little Shop of Jingles is, I think you pronounce it Weaves, I would imagine. And I had heard of this before. I'd seen it on Amazon. I'm always leery of one size fit all things. You know, you, you hear different stuff, especially on Amazon. Hi, bubby. Let me get this out terrible. Don't mind me just uh, picking boogers out of my cat's eyes. But when I wore this, it fit great. And I wanted to check out more of the weave stuff, in particular the skirts. So I did pick up two skirts from the weaves website. I hope I'm saying this right. But I gotta tell you, I put them on, they fit great. They do, I mean, like you got a lot of room. You got a whole lot of room here. If you're worried about the one size fit all, but like how cute is this gonna be together? And these are gigantic. I think they're like the 25 skirts. 
So this really fans out. It's a whole lot of fabric, but it's really lightweight fabric. I have some friends at FAIR that wear these and kind of layer them one over the other. And so I'm looking to start a collection of these. Um, they're just like beautiful skirts too, and I'm, I'll wear them around, not just for FAIR, which is nice. A lot of the stuff I have for FAIR is like kind of just for FAIR. So this pleases me. Hi, Bubby. So we have the blue one, um, and I also have the same skirt in red okay, and look at all of this fabric it's so much fabric um they're so beautiful they twirl beautifully i started with blue and red because ohio fair starts labor day weekend and they do have fair going on during labor day and so i thought i might do some sort of like captain america style thing so blue and red is what we're going for but like i want one of these in every color i just think they are so fun so stunning and again like I can wear this normally. Hi, huh, Bubby. Are you unimpressed? You just want to kiss, huh? Now, the bag I hadn't unpacked yet was my, my bag of my, my littles, my little accoutrement that goes in my belt and, um, you know, like little accessory bits. And a lot of this stuff, um, well, not a lot of this stuff, but some of the things are things that I picked up in Kentucky that are new. So uh, I can unpack and show you what's new from here. Got a new little leather mug strap and another one of these for my fan. Actually, I think I used the little one for the fan and the bigger one for my mug. This I am super excited about. Now, this dagger I actually picked up at a shop. I did not catch the name of, but it had this beautiful blue handle. I liked the weaving and like, how badass is that? Um, obviously, if you take it to fair, you have to have it piece tied because we can't be waving knives around at people. After I bought this, I went to uh, Crimson Chain Leather and I asked them what they had for me that I could just carry my dagger on my belt in because I'm looking to be like a little badass this year. And they had this very fun, smells amazing leather piece hangs off of your belt this is adjustable if you want to obviously like the dagger was very small she actually had to poke another hole in to make it work i love crimson chain leather works um i have a few pieces from them now and i just love this combination so much from the same shop that i unfortunately cannot remember the name of i also picked up this little wrist situation so you put it on and it's got little vials in it which i thought was so fun i have um which i think is probably in here my yeah my potion bottle which is from crimson chain leather and i really liked wearing it i like the idea of having <laughs> sorry the camera is moving i got crazy cats attacking it um but i like the idea of having like sort of like a potion healer character i put together if you have ideas or um, if you just generally want to help me like build this character, let me know in the comments. This was in the vlog as well. Um, and Kristen and I all got matching ones of these. They're just like little, I'm putting this on wrong. I'm putting this on wrong. Just like a little pretty bracelet thing. I gotta tell you with the belly dance outfit that I got, it is perfection. So I'm super happy I picked this up. And of course we gotta have the blue in there. I'm actually not sure if I showed you guys this when I got it. This was an online order from Crimson Chain Leatherworks because I realized I needed a far better belt pouch for Kentucky to hold my things. So I liked this two-tone a lot. Something's in here. What's in here still? Hand sanitizer. They're just really nice, roomy, fit everything I need. Super, super happy with this purchase. I didn't get it in Kentucky, but I got it for Kentucky and if I already showed this to you, I'm sorry, I forgot. Also, if you guys watch the vlog from Kentucky, you will see the tiny mug has been acquired. How freaking cute is this? We drank butter beer out of this. I'm sure we'll find many other things to drink out of this throughout the years. And got one with a dragon on it. I just went for the plain one. They had really cute patterns on it. There was one that had like a jack-o'-lantern on it, but it just like didn't go with everything that I had. So um, I opted for the plain one and actually wanted the plain one too. And she took one for the team uh, when she saw the red dragon, she does have red dragon stuff. So um, she <laughs> did conceit to taking that one so I could get the plain tiny little baby leather mug. So cute. And this is from DNU Leather Mugs, which is actually going to come up again 
shortly in this video. There's a small piece I got from Kentucky that I, now I know has got to be here somewhere, but I'm not finding it right now. I did get uh, from the Dragon Hatchery a tiny little leather dragon earring. If I find it soon, I'll show it to you. Um, if not, I'm sure you'll see it in upcoming videos. Um, but the other small thing we got uh, just from one of the blacksmiths, I got Steve a couple rings and I got myself a little ring. They were three for $10. And they were just really pretty and like handmade. I thought that was cool. Okay, I'm not seeing the tiny dragon, so uh, we'll worry about that later. But the last like little piece, actually these aren't little. I don't mean to call these little. They're very cool, but like accessory piece. That's what I mean. I got from Kentucky. Also came from Crimson Chain, which is like really quickly becoming one of my favorite shops at fair. I keep going back to them and I keep finding more and more stuff I'm excited about. And uh, I have to, again, like build a character around these. We're uh, gonna be starting small here with this. Uh, I do have my dagger and I do have my little dagger holder and stuff, but now I also have dragon scale bracers in blue. Oh, yes, look at this. I love this so much. I think these are gorgeous. Um, if anyone from Crimson Chain happens to be watching this if you could make me more things in this blue and this pattern i will get it from you because i'm like again i saw these and i was like i'm gonna build a whole ass outfit out of these bracers i just think these are so awesome let me try to put the other one on here truly anytime i'm wearing anything like this i'm gonna feel like freaking wonder woman but like blue dragon lady wonder woman Come on, that is, mm, that's good. I love these, but wear these to work. Nobody's gonna mess with me then. We're done with everything that I got in Kentucky. We're onto something my dad found actually thrifting. He gave this to me this morning. He found with the card, like I don't think anybody even used this, this leather mug, again from a uh, dragon unicorn. It's like the wax is thick in there. It's got like the lid. You do have to pay extra if you want the lid. I don't have any with a lid, so this excites me. How beautiful is this? Now, it does make me sad because he found it a Goodwill for $2, and I think these mugs are fantastic. I send people to their shop all the time at fair because, oh, <gasps> look what I just found. Tiny dragon earring. I knew you'd turn up. Anyway, it does make me sad that these things are turning up in a Goodwill. I actually have another mug that I found at Scott Antique Show on the dollar table, and that one has a unicorn on it. And you know, that was a buck, this was $2. Um, I have paid for uh, this one I paid full price for, and um, the mug I've been using for years and years. We're actually sending to get rewaxed soon. Uh, but they're beautiful pieces, so I don't know why they're winding up on dollar tables and in Goodwills, but rest assured they are finding good homes here this is so pretty and the other mug that i have also has flowers on it but um not black and silver so i'm very excited about this steve is about to be home and uh i made a quick thrift trip today every once in a while the thrift store like calls me i just like i know there's something there for me and um i had a pretty epic find two pretty epic finds actually at ohio thrift today and so he doesn't know about these. And so I might uh, pull the camera back so you guys can see them in their full glory and uh, wait for Steven to be home so we can catch his reaction as well. I can show you and show him at the same time. Excuse you. Excuse you very much. How did you even get this? You snuck right past mama. You snuck right past me. No, not for kitten. Oh my goodness, no tail is safe. have so many toys why well, you gotta play with mama's things huh oh my goodness all right i just heard the car he's here i gotta get in this thing the catch is this is it's broken i have to fix this but this is about the easiest thing i could think of to fix oh baby she found a hoop skirt and like besides it being broken, which I think I just broke it worse. Again, that's okay. That's not a big deal. That's just drawstring fed through. Here comes Stevie. Hello. Hi. 
Look what I found today. <laughs> For when I'm feeling like being a pretty, pretty princess, which doesn't happen often, but like, now I have a freaking hoop skirt. Wow. It was $10. That's big. It is big. <laughs> I think this was like somebody's wedding hoop skirt. If you feel it, it's like, you want to come feel? Oh my God, there's a cat. Oh, there are two cats hiding under there. Yes. <laughs> I, was, I was getting to that. Oh my God. <laughs> Scaring. There were there were two cats under there. There were two cats under there. Um, but if you feel, this is like, it's not plastic. It's like steel. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's like really nice. Yeah. Hi so, everybody. I did find one more thing. It's not run fair related, like at all. Oh, okay. But I'm really freaking jacked that I found this. Um, if you guys are horror nerds at all, American Psycho is one of my favorite horror movies. And I found. Stop. Right? I have a prop axe upstairs, but I don't want to get it. But, like, picture me in a suit with an axe. Hey, Paul! Hey, Paul! Ah! So it looks like I have to be Patrick Bateman at some point for Halloween. Cause I found this freaking jacket at the thrift store. I got this in a hoop skirt, so I'm pretty sure I like thoroughly confused the people working there. Like, what is this girl's deal? That's what I got. Now I gotta put all this away finally and unpack things and figure out how I'm going to wear them in the wild. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, hit me with outfit suggestions, recommendations, links, the whole business. Help me build these outfits, help me build these characters, or just like chat about it in the comments. Okay, crazy cat going after everything. Excuse you. Hey, Dooku. You wanna say bye to vlog? Dooku. You say bye, everybody? Bye. Okay, have a good day. <laughs>